Let me talk about good and bad and poor in a very intuitive way. Actually, the, the way to think about it is to go back to the Middle Ages in, uh, in Europe. In the Middle Ages in Europe, along each river, you had lots of tolls. Uh, actually, on the Rhine River, you had 64 tolls. So you had 64 gatekeepers, and, which means that you have 64 monopoly prices, which is pretty bad. So in, in this diagram, I have four of them, and of course, uh, it's multiple marginalizations. You have a markup, and the consequence of that is it's not only bad for the consumers or the users of the, of the river here, but it's also bad for, for, for the firms themselves, the toll collectors, because they have a negative externality on each other. It's just cool, no multiple marginalizations. Okay? In that case, co-marketing is good because you'll have one monopoly instead of more, four monopolies, and that's exactly what you want. You, you give more access. Everybody is better off if you have a patent pool. But of course, you have this different image, which is called substitutes. Here, there are perfect substitutes. There are two ways of uh, moving along the river, and you have two toll collectors. And hopefully, they are going to compete at our Bertrand, so the price will be very low. So you, you won't be paying very much. But of course, if they get together and they market the toll uh, in a collective way, then they will ask for the monopoly price. So you move from a zero price to a monopoly price. And it's pretty bad, and it's, it's like a merger to monopoly in that case. So intuitively, if you have complements, pools are good. If you have substitutes, pools are bad.